co-host of White Labs, an e-commerce marketing agency. Today's guest is Matthew. Matthew, feel free to introduce yourself and let our viewers know about your background. Sure. Thanks so much. Uh, yeah, so I'm Matthew Gohl. I'm the CEO of Santa Via. Uh, Santa Via is a water filtration company, a consumer water filtration company. And the big difference that we do compared to other water filters you've probably seen before is that we're filtering contaminants and we do a really great job at that. But then we actually add back healthy minerals. So we're adding back calcium, magnesium, potassium, all these minerals that are really good for your body and healthy for you that you should have in your water. Uh, which makes that water healthier for you, but it also makes it taste way better. So we're trying to create um, just an awesome product that's going to create water that's healthier for you and tastes better too. Um, awesome. So, yeah, we're located here in uh, in Canada, actually, in Vancouver, uh, and we're a family business too. So i um, really excited about that. Second generation family business um, and just kicking butt. So yeah, thanks for and having me. It's in S-A-N-T-E-V-I-A dot com, correct? That's it. Yeah, it's Antivia. Yeah, exactly. And so dot com. Where, where, did that, where did that name come from? Yeah, good question, actually. So that name, actually, it's a mashup. So Sante, S-A-N-T-E. Sante is a French word that means health. And Via gotcha. is Latin okay. for way or road. So uh, it's the healthy way. Uh, their healthy road. Awesome, Matthew. What, what inspired you to create the brand? Well, so it was started actually by my parents, uh, David and Yvonne, and they started Santa Via in 2008 because of a health issue. So David had chronic acid reflux. He was always experiencing painful symptoms of GERD. And I'm sure we've all experienced it at one point in our life. You know, you eat some bad food or uh, aren't taking care of yourself for a weekend and you start to feel that acidity. It's mm -hmm. really painful. It affects how you sleep. Um, and so they went to the doctor because David was experiencing this all the time. And the doctor said, unfortunately, Hey, David, you're going to have to be on medication for the rest of your life. You're going to have to take these things called proton pump inhibitors. And so these proton pump inhibitors, they basically, uh, diminish how much acid your, your stomach's producing and help alleviate the symptoms. But my mother, she was like, you know, I feel like this is a lifestyle issue and I'm not comfortable with you being on these PPIs because there are side effects to them. Uh, and especially taking them over the long term, especially bone density issues. So she did some research. Uh, they read a lot of peer reviewed research from uh, that was just coming out at the time from a lot of American universities. And these studies were suggesting that actually changing what you do and what you eat is just as effective as these PPIs. So David changed his diet um, and they worked with a nutritionist on that. They, he started working out, which actually took a bit of a kick in the pants for him, you know, some encouragement. Uh, but he did get start working out and moving more. And, but the last thing that all these studies suggest is that you should be drinking mineralized water. So specifically water with a high mineral content. And the only water that they could find with a high mineral content was actually bottled water. And bottled water, bottled mineral water is very expensive. Uh, and it's not very environmentally friendly either because often it's bottled far away and, and shipped to you. So that was the, the birth of Santa Via. They wanted to create a product that you could use tap water, put tap water into a Santa Via water pitcher, Santa Via countertop unit, or a Santa Via glass countertop unit. Uh, and it would filter out the bad stuff like the chlorine, the lead, whatever is in your water in your region, and then add back calcium, magnesium, and potassium to make water that's healthy for you. And so they started that and, and David started to drink this mineralized water and his symptoms went away. And he hasn't been on these PPIs for over 10 years wow. uh, and he hasn't had these symptoms recur either. So uh, it, was, it was really a lifestyle change that uh, helped them invent the business and created the key idea of Santa Via. Amazing. Who is your ideal target audience? Good question. Yeah, our ideal target audience is uh, females um, and males, but we're about 60% female, 40% male, so pretty much in the in the middle. And actually, we don't have a, a really strong uh, age demographic, oddly enough. So kind of like all age groups seem to really enjoy drinking water. <laughs> no kidding. So yeah, that's we don't have a really defined uh, customer target. We do find, of course, that people who are interested in health and wellness are, are interested in our products. It's not the, the least expensive water pitcher or water filter on the market. Um, it's more expensive because it does a lot more. Awesome. Amazing. So um, touch, touch on this briefly, but what makes you different or better than your competitors? Yeah, 100%. I mean, the biggest thing is uh, the fact that we're adding back these healthy minerals. That's the big differentiation. So when all of our filters have multiple stages, most water filters, you pour water through them and they have one stage. And that in stage uh, filtration is 100% about taking things out of the water. It takes out bad stuff, but also it takes out the good stuff too. 
uh, a water filter cannot differentiate between a healthy mineral and a contaminant. And so it just takes it all out. And what you're left with is water that has nothing in it, uh, dead water. So that's not how the water that you should be drinking. You should be drinking water with lots of healthy minerals in it. Your nutritionist would recommend that. Your doctor would recommend that. that the World Health Organization recommends that. Water with minerals is what you should be drinking. It helps prevent a lot of uh, long-term issues like bone density issues. Um, and it also mm. tastes a lot better too. So no one wants to be drinking bad tasting water. And so uh, why not why not have a filter that really improves the taste a lot too? Um, that's the number one feedback we get from customers. You know, everybody's happy about how great uh, the filtration is and, and the minerals that it adds back. The thing that's most noticeable to a brand new customer is, wow, this water tastes so good. Uh, where have you been all my life? So um, the fact that we're adding minerals back, that's our huge point of differentiation, Stephen. That is awesome. Yeah. What is your uh, best-selling product? Well, we just launched a brand new product. It's called the Glass Water System. So it's a countertop unit that sits on um, a bamboo stand. It's really beautiful. Um, and that's our, our top selling product right now. We just launched that a few months ago. And um, it's, it's going crazy. It's gone viral on social media a few times. Uh, we're seeing big volumes there. And we're really excited about that. Glass is uh, just an awesome material to have a water filtration made water filtration system made out of. Um, so that uses our, our core filter, our MENA filter, which we make right here in Canada, in Vancouver. So the technology is really good. Uh, it's a proven technology that we've used for other products in the past. And then the format, just having that glass and bamboo water stand um, it is really nice. Definitely. I'm looking yeah. at it right now. <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah. yeah, it looks really, it looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's, uh, our team did a really great job. You know, that was um, the big, the tough part about that is getting such a big piece of glass um, uh, to, to form into a really nice container. It's, it's not a common thing that you can find at a store, a big piece of glass like that. So we had to invest in some manufacturing capabilities to be able to make those. Um, but I'm really happy with the end product and so are our customers. Definitely. What is your uh, future plan for yourself and the brand? Great question. Yeah. Um, well, we're a Canadian brand and we definitely have our roots in Canada. Um, so we have quite the retail network up north here. Uh, you know, we're Canada is a border hugging town. <laughs> I think like 90, 95% of the Canadian population lives within 50 kilometers of the U.S. border. So, um, you know, we're moving south. <laughs> um, so we're we're expanding to some retail network, retail stores in the U.S. I'm really excited about that. We're in Vancouver, which is just like just north of Seattle, right? It's the Pacific Northwest. There's a town that's just south of the border near us. Uh, and, and we're looking at maybe opening a warehouse there too, uh, just to help with the cross-border shipments. Uh, so somewhere around in Bellingham. Um, so yeah, really a U.S. expansion is, is where we're, we're looking at. Um, with a focus a little bit on the Pacific Northwest from a retail perspective, but then pushing online pretty hard. So we're on Amazon, we're on Santavia.com. Um, so our e-commerce team in the U.S. is pretty strong. Uh, but yeah, we really just want to make products and, and raise brand awareness in, in the U.S. Uh, that's a big thing. We did recently launch the U.K. though. Um, so we launched Great. the U.K. Uh, about three or four months ago. Um, so we're excited about that. Yeah. So, you know, I think those three markets will serve us for quite some time, actually. And we're, we're happy just where we're at. So we're launching new products, new products all the time. We, we just launched our glass water system. Like I was saying, we have some really cool water bottles that are coming out pretty soon. And then um, in just a little bit, we'll be offering a shower filter, actually, right. uh, to filter chlorine from your shower water. But ours is, uh, there's a few other shower filters on the market, but ours is going to be really cool. There's a I can't spoil, I can't spill the beans yet, but uh, there's something really special about it. Definitely. I'm in, I'm in South Florida. The water's horrible. So, um. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the problem with South, with Florida and like Southern states generally, any, any state or area that has a hot climate is that bacteria grows way more quickly in these hot mm -hmm. states, right? So you, the municipalities actually have to add a lot more chlorine to the water to help yeah. basically prevent algae blooms and pre prevent bacterial growth. So if you were to look how much chlorine there is in your water, Stephen, versus uh, the, the amount of chlorine in Vancouver in the wintertime when it's really cold, it's, it's uh, four, five, six times as much chlorine. And chlorine, it's a chemical disinfectant, right? It kills bacteria, it kills parasites. But as soon as you drink that, it's it's not like the chlorine is no longer. No, I, I, 
believe it because uh, the water from the tap is, is it's terrible. So um, I, I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking of you know growing on all these uh, markets, what activities have you done to promote the brand that's been the most successful? Yeah, good question. Um, so we're all about customer acquisition. We're a growing brand. We grew about 50% last year. Um, we're aiming for uh, somewhere around there this year too. And the thing that has been such a, a really huge boon for us is a short form video. So we've really leaned into short form video lately. Ours is an education product. You have to teach people, why are you different than Brita? Why are you different than Pure? These are big brands, right? Everybody knows Brita. Everybody knows Pure. You see it every time you walk into Walmart or Kroger's, you know, like uh, Target, you know, you see these brands. Um, so we're more expensive and we have to differentiate ourselves. And the highest fidelity way that we can educate a customer right now is through short form video. Um, so teaching uh, uh, customers, you know, why would you want minerals added to your water? Why is just chlorine filtration not enough? Um, you know, how much does your pitcher cost versus a Brita pitcher? You know, spoiler, it's about the same, okay. but we're doing way more. So yeah, that short form video has been really good for us. And specifically on meta, uh, we've been on TikTok a little bit too, uh, but we do find the meta algorithm like, um, more performant. Definitely. Yeah. I can see that. What? challenges have you faced in becoming an entrepreneur and how did how have you overcome them uh yeah challenges uh well it's a challenge i think you know being okay um i think the biggest challenge of being an entrepreneur is being able to operate in um you know uh, an environment of uncertainty and then being able to make decisions not knowing all the facts uh, because you're never going to know all the facts um, and you're never going to know the right answer. Because if you're an entrepreneur and you're innovating, uh, just by definition, nobody's been there before. Nobody's made a, a consumer, a mineralized consumer water filtration brand in 2024, <laughs> um, selling these products and, and working through these the same sales channels that we, we work on and, and sell through. So, um, you know, you have to... You can learn from your peers, but it's never going to be the perfect scenario that fits our scenario. So um, that's a big thing, uh, being okay to, you know, feeling uncomfortable and then working hard. And, and I think commit commitment's huge, especially for young people nowadays. You know, everybody wants to flit around and, and do different things, but, you know, go, go find uh, something that interests you and, and commit, you know, put in five, 10 years somewhere and really, really see if you can make a difference and and uh, compound your growth. It's like Warren Buffett says, you know, it's um, it's time in the market, not timing the market. You really have to like, compound your growth. It's amazing advice. What what advice can you give someone looking to start a brand, we'll say in 2024? Yeah, um, I think do something different. Uh, I'm stealing this quote, uh, but uh, you know, niches make riches. So you know, just you should, because you should, uh, quote they should make a sign for that yeah niches make riches yeah, exactly yeah it's a it's a, i think it's a good quote um, I you know you have to differentiate you have to um there's no way that you can go and start um you know a shoe brand um that's the same as nike and beat nike like nike's a behemoth right um so what's going to be way different about your shoe brand you know uh you have to pick something really specific that there's enough of a market for uh, but not a big market that maybe a larger player would be interested in it and, and choose that spot to grow because, um, you know, there might not be very many people that want like a, a, a shoe that is made of, you know, hemp or whatever, but there's probably about like 20 to 50,000 people that would be interested in the shoe that's made out of hemp, you know, yeah. and we have these tools right now, Meta and, and TikTok and just the internet generally that will help you connect with those people that will be interested in your niche product. Um, it's going to help you be able to price your product in a way that you can have enough margin as a growing company. And you need a little bit more margin because you're not operating at scale. And uh, you're going to have a lot of fun doing it because you're going to be way different. So it's going to give you something to talk about. Um, so I think that's really important too. Awesome, Matthew. Well, I, I appreciate you coming on the White Pod and talking about your journey and talking about the brand. I appreciate your time today. Cool. Thanks so much, Stephen. Definitely. Love it. Thank you, Matthew. See you later.